Hello and welcome back to another video. This is BC Plays here, and today we are testing out a very, very big vehicle, and that is the Jeep Gladiator. It is a part of the season pass, and it recently came out, so we may as well test it out. And look how long this thing is! It's so stupidly long, but um, yeah, I can't tell you how much it actually is because, like I said, it is a part of the season pass, so. Let's just get straight into the customization for this thing, if there is any customization, which there isn't. But we will change the calipers to a red, and we'll also change the colour of it as well. That is the most disgusting colour ever. What if we get it in? A black does look nice, a red's alright. Um, you know what, we're going to go basic. Gonna, mm, actually, no, that's too basic. But do we just keep the red? Or is there any, like, navy green? Cause like these greens are just bad, aren't they? Like no one wants these greens. Like, there's no proper navy green except for something like that. But we'll keep it with the red for now. You only want to see the uh, the performance, so we'll, we won't bother with any of the coloring or anything. So let's get straight into the upgrade parts. It is a rally raid vehicle, which is uh, a big problem because, as you can see, I have no parts for rally raid at all. I should probably play more rally raid events, but. I just don't find them that enjoyable. The brakes, I've got 269. I've probably got some somewhere. So let me look at some of the other Rally Raid vehicles I've got and see if I can take some parts off. So I'll be one second. Okay, so a few other parts have been added on. We now have a 57A out of a 590, which isn't too bad. It's pretty close. So uh, let's just go, uh, go through the stats. It does have 149 uh, top speed. Also has 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. Break distance 60 to 0 is 20.5 yards. And it also has 872 horsepower as well. So let's get straight into testing this vehicle and I'll see you at an event in a second. I can't lie, it is a little bit annoying that there is no customization just because, you know, you expect a bit of customization with the season pass vehicles, um, but some of them obviously just don't have any at all. Which is fine, we get a new vehicle for free, so I guess we can't really complain too much. But it would be nice, especially for this vehicle. You could do some pretty cool stuff with it, I think. But Ubisoft have other ideas, I guess. But let's see if this thing is any good and see if it is in contention with the best, uh, the best rally raid vehicle. I literally have no idea what the best rally raid vehicle is, so I'm coming in with this completely blank. So uh, let's see if this thing does perform well and to be fair it does feel like it looks it feels heavy very heavy almost too heavy and it just feels very long i don't know where the front of the vehicle actually is that's how long it feels and it does feel quite slow as well i know i don't have max parts on this thing but still it doesn't feel overly quick definitely feels quite hard to handle as well but I'm trying my best to uh, make it as easy as possible to handle. Like I had no idea Christopher was that close to me in front of me. That's how long this thing is. But I mean, it's still putting in a shift considering. And it is drifting and it is drifting and it did drift. Okay, maybe the handling is a little bit of a problem. It just feels, yeah, it feels too glidy. You know, if you know what I mean. Like it just feels too easy to sort of turn. It feels, yeah, very slidey and slidey and all the, all the words that rhyme with, uh, with slidey. There we go, the worst part about the event, the water and the beach. Even though it looks nice, it just doesn't act right at all, especially with uh, these rally raid vehicles. But that turn was a lot better, to be fair. Definitely still trying to get used to it and just trying to get used to rally raid vehicles in general because... Yeah, I've rarely used them in this game. I think I used them at the start. I was trying to get loads of um, parts for them, obviously, at the start, but then I just sort of gave up and just couldn't be bothered to play Rally Raid events because, let's be honest, there isn't too much variation in events for any discipline in, in this game, really, but especially for stuff like the Rally Raid events, there's literally none. And this thing cannot turn. Look at that. That is awful. Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, be beware of the handling. That is bad. That is very poor. Especially from a vehicle like this that's supposed to be pretty grippy considering it is made for the great outdoors. It can't turn. That is poor. But I mean, the rest of it isn't too bad. It's, it's like a plain rally raid vehicle. I can't really, you know, 
say too much about it because it's a rally raid vehicle. They're not too special, are they? So, yeah, it's just a bang average vehicle. Probably would cost around 200 to 300k if I were to guess when it actually came out for everyone. Are we going to win? We aren't going to win game second, but very, very close. That last turn sort of messed us up. But, um, yeah, it wasn't the greatest display of a vehicle. But let's get into the final verdict of this thing, shall we? And I've got some more parts, which is great. That is what I needed. Okay, I won't lie. It is very, very ugly. It's definitely not the most appealing looking vehicle in the world. Very long, very thick. And it just doesn't overly... It just didn't perform that well, I don't think. Especially for a rally raid vehicle. But like I said, I don't really know much about rally raid vehicles at all. Just the handling... It felt very, very off and it didn't feel grippy like most rally raid vehicles should feel. It felt more like a rally cross vehicle than a rally raid, but yeah, definitely wasn't the greatest display I have seen. Also, it felt very heavy and clunky, definitely wasn't the fastest vehicles to choose. You know, there's 911 Carreras you can choose, so definitely pick one of them over this vehicle. It may be a bit cheaper, but there is no customization for this thing either. Even the Jeep Wrangler is probably a bit better than this, and that's going to be a lot, a lot cheaper than this. So overall, out of 10, it was very poor. I did not enjoy my time with it really at all. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 5.8 out of 10. Definitely one of the worst season pass vehicles we've gotten. But yeah, nothing really to write home about this vehicle. Definitely going to use it once and then just keep it in the garage and never use it again. But a 5.8, I think, is very fair for this vehicle. And if you have used this vehicle, tell me what you think of it down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video.